Hey, this is Chris Plush from CG Masters. So what we're gonna do today is something fun and quick. We're gonna take our 3D rendered scene and turn it into an HDR image that can be used in Blender's environment to light any other scene. And this actually only takes a couple clicks of the mouse too, so it's gonna be really quick. So what you wanna do after you've created your scene is you wanna place the origin point of the camera directly in the middle of it, exactly where you want the focus to be. Now head over to the camera options, change the lens to panoramic and change the type to equirectangular. And that's all there is to it. Let's press numpad zero to go into camera view. It's not looking all that promising yet, but let's press shift and Z and voila. Now all we have to do is save this as an HDR image. And it's important to save as an HDR because that won't just save the color information, it'll save the light intensity as well. So we can actually use these light sources when we put this as an HDR environment in our other blend files. So to save this as an HDR image, let's go over to the render options now. Go down to the output panel, and change the file format to Radiance HDR. Now just render this out and save that image as an HDR image. Then we can load it up in another blend file and we'll see how it works. Now let's test out that HDR image on Suzanne here. I'm gonna go over to the world buttons, click on new, and next to the color field, I'll click on that button there and change it to environment texture. Now let's click on open and load in that HDR image we just made, and that's all there is to it. So let's press shift and Z and get a preview of this. And there we go, now our HDR environment is lighting our monkey head. And now we can adjust the strength too. I'll turn the strength down to 0.5, and now everything's looking perfect. That's pretty cool. I rendered it kind of low resolution, but obviously you can crank that up. All right, so that's all there is to it. That's how easy it is to make HDR images from your own Blender environments. Now I just wanna give a quick shout out to Nukio over on BlendSwap, which is where I got the Light Studio models. You can check out his work and these models over at BlendSwap.com under the name Nukio, or you can follow the link in the description. So that'll do it for this tutorial, and I'll see you around.